All right, so forgive my janky setup, but I kind of threw this together real quick as my Wonder Mega just arrived today back from repairs. Um, and if you follow me on Twitter, you may have seen me ranting and raving lately about uh, the Wonder Mega and MIDI ports and uh, digging through BIOS code. And the reason for that is the original Wonder Mega has a MIDI port on the back, which is right here, this guy. And uh, the thing is, the only software that uses this, uh, Wonder MIDI, is extremely rare um, and has not been dumped, actually. Uh, one of the few remaining Mega Drive games uh, software that has not been dumped. Um, I have never seen it for sale online, and I'm sure if it ever comes up, it will be ridiculously expensive. In any case, um, all the documentation we have uh, for, for development is for the Mega CD, the original. And, of course, the Mega CD does not have this MIDI board. That is unique only to these original Wonder Megas. Um, so we don't really have any information on how we can access that port, where it's mapped to, or anything. So what I've been doing lately is going through the um, firmware for the Wonder Mega, the, the BIOS, as you some people call it, and trying to find where it might be mapped in memory. Well, I found a couple suspicious locations, um, you know, places outside all of our documentation areas marked as reserved, uh, and the BIOS is trying to access them, and, you know, uh, working backwards. Sure enough, it looks like the BIOS is trying to read subcode data and send it to that mystery location. Um, and doing some more research, uh, subcode on the CD is where the MIDI data would be stored for a CD MIDI disk. So I was pretty sure I had the right memory location to send data and uh, read the control port. Um, so after, once my Wonder Mega finally arrived back from repair, I threw this code together real quick and hooked up my little uh, sound canvas here. And I'm happy to say you can see it over here too on the sound canvas. I mean, it's really not much, um, but this this proves it. Uh, that memory location is the interface with the MIDI port. Um, I'm just sending a couple small. Uh, MIDI commands, nothing special. I actually pulled them out of canyon.mid, that great classic music file. Um, and yeah, so this is only the beginning, but it's uh, proof, I think, that we've uh, found what we're looking for. Ooh, good times.